Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. So, I predicted the squad, now we've got the actual squad for Algeria's 2021 Africa Cup of Nations adventure. And yes, Ben Mali did choose to take 28 names as I suggested. There are 28 Algeria players heading to AFCON, heading to that camp in Qatar. I think maybe one or two of them from the Premier League might arrive a little bit late, not until January the 3rd. But anyway, we've got 28 players to discuss in today's video. These are the players going to AFCON. And the first big headline is that there's no new foreign-born players. We haven't got Luka Zidane. We haven't got Rayan Aitnori, no Hussam Awar, no Yassine Adli, no Michael Elise. These players not involved in the squad. And I do think we could probably still win AFCON again without them. So it's not that big a deal. However, it's just a little bit disappointed. I know a lot of people were very rather excited to see some fresh faces in the squad. There's one or two interesting decisions for this squad. So we'll come to them in a second. But I would say that the Arab Cup victory has heaven, heavily uh, influenced the AFCON squad. For better or for worse, I think the better. I think Majid Bagheret is going to be part of the coaching setup as well. So it would make sense because he knows some of these players a little bit better. But interesting, some of the choices made and some of the names left out. So we'll start off with the, the three goalkeepers, Rice and Bulhi, Alexander Akija. You expect those two. Your third goalkeeper is Mustafa Zugba. Again, another keeper in his 30s. Um, three older goalkeepers, of course, it's going to be Mbolhi number one, Akija number two, and Zugba number three. Not too many complaints there. Rice and Bulhi will probably play all of the matches. So... I'd like to have seen a different third keeper, but Zagba will be more than capable. And of course, he did head to that Arab Cup victory along with Mbulhi as well. So those are the three goalkeepers we are taking. And then with the defence, so we are taking the, the, the three right backs. However, um, we're taking Atal, we're taking Beniada, we haven't got Zadudka, we have got Halle Mia heading to the tournament. So no place in this tournament. For Mr. Mehdi Zafan, we've got uh, Halle Mir going. I think he's going to be the third choice right back behind Beniada and Atal. And Belmadi recognised three right backs. Probably sensible in circumstances, considering Atal's injury record. Left back is Ben Sabaini and Chetty, widely expected. No eight Nori. Fares missing out through injury. I think, if anything, the talking point, yes, he's gone with the five centre-backs I suggested, as in to take five. But the personnel is a little bit different. So you've got Ben Lamry in there. You've got Isa Mandy in there. You've got Badalane in there. You haven't got Ahmed Tuba. You haven't got Tuba now. There's rumours that Tuba has picked up a knock that will see him miss the tournament. If that is the case, fair enough. If, if Tuba is fully fit, that's a massive blow. That's a player for the future, Tuba. But you haven't taken her, who's committed from Belgium to Algeria, and you haven't taken him. So a bit of a slap in the face. Can't understand not having Tuba in the squad. Mehdi Tahra goes to AFCON again. Uh, second AFCON in a row, also went to the Arab Cup. And Tugai, I think Tugai scored the winning penalty in the quarterfinal of the Arab Cup against Morocco. So Tahra and Tugai involved in, this, in the squad there. So you expect Ben Lamry and Manny to be the pair and then Badalane, Tahrir and two guys come in if need be. So that's interesting. That's our defence for the AFCON tournament. Again, it, it's what you kind of expect. Two guys are a surprise to me. Tahrir is a surprise. Halle Mir is a surprise. The rest I'm very happy with. And then you've got six central midfielders. You've got the main three you were always going to see. Faguli, Banassa and Zaruki. Um, I think you're always going to expect Harris Badkubla as well. And then, for me, of course, you've got Adam Zorgan, who I didn't include, and I know a lot of people in the comments did want to see Adam Zorgan, so I'm sure they're happy about that. He's one for the future, so it'll be a good tournament for him. And Sofian Bandubka, after his fantastic Arab Cup performances, has been rewarded with a place in the AFCON 28-man squad. Now, the man who misses out here is Badawi. Badawi doesn't make it on the plane. Of course, they've got Bantala, Tider, Abid. They're not going... Bandubka, uh, Guardiola is not going, but Bandubka has been rewarded for his performances and it's thoroughly deserved, but at the expense of Badawi is an interesting one. Badawi, I've heard he doesn't get on with Badawi too well. He's not going to this tournament. High hopes for Badawi, went to the last AFCON, lifted the trophy, got a little bit of game time. It's going to be for Guli, Benassa, Zaruki as the main three, but Kubler are a good backup and it's Organ and Bandubka in the squad as well. You can't really complain. You could take Badawi instead of Bandubka and a lot of people will be shocked not to see Badawi involved, but Bandubka and Zorgan are the ones involved. So 
Good experience for Zorgan going forward. A lot of people highly rate him. And then in the attack, um, so that they've included Farid Belaya in the attack. So Belaya will go as an attacker. There is three wingers on each side. It's Belaya, uh, Mares, and Unurse for the right hand side. So Rashid Gazelle misses out. No Rashid Gazelle. Perhaps harsh. He's been in a few squads recently. We haven't got Rashid Gazelle on this occasion. So no Rashid Gazelle. And then you've got your, your Brahimis in there. Brahimi thoroughly deserved. Deserved to go after Arab Cup player of the tournament. So you've got Brahimi in there. And of course you've got the likes of Belayli and Ben Rahma. So three options to the left. Loads of options. Loads of great attacking talent. Slamani and Bunajah are accompanied by Mohamed Amora. Uh, no Belfadil Amora goes as well. So... That's the 28-man squad. Are you confident we can retain this trophy with these 28 players? Because it's not going to be easy. It's going to be in Cameroon. It's not going to be in North Africa anymore. A lot of these players, uh, players haven't got tournament experience, like uh, Zaruki, Amora, hasn't got too much tournament experience, uh, Two Guy. So, going to be a big tournament for a lot of these players. For me, though, your 11 out of this is going to be very similar to the last AFCON. You should see a Mulhi, a Mulhi in goal. With Ben Sabani and Atali Fitz, Ben Lambry Mandy, Zaruki Ben Asafaguli, and then Belayli left, Mahrez right. Up from Slamani for me over Bunajah at the moment. I like to see Slamani given the nod. So that's our squad for AFCON. Let's get behind these players. Plenty of experienced players. You know, Faguli, Brahimi, and Slamani have been around the block for almost a decade now. Very, very good. Very experienced players. Ben Lambry, very experienced. And Bolhi, incredibly experienced. There's a lot of experience in this squad. Ben Rahma going to AFCON, really good for him, great experience for him. Belaya going to a tournament. So, and you've got your likes of Bundes Pacchetti, two guy, but Dane, who had great Arab Cups, get their nod as well. So your big absences, really, apart from your French-born players, there's no Tuba, no Badawi, and no Rashid Gazelle. I think Tuba, Badawi, and Gazelle are the three who are unlucky to not be included. But anyway, that is the Algeria squad for AFCON. Um, next week we get going with some pre-tournament friendlies. I don't know if the whole squad will be there. It's going to be in Qatar. Maybe some players like Morris will arrive late, as I alluded to earlier. That's our squad. Let me know your thoughts on the squad down below in the comments, and hopefully we can bring this cup home again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.